Bonjour Year 5. Our topic for today's lesson is Les Vacances, Part 12. Please use your headphones for best experience. Learning Objective Can I display my speaking skills in vacation topic using Futuprosh? Success Criteria Grow I can recognize and memorize key French sentences. Flourish I can link questions and responses on variety of topics related to vacation. Succeed I can adapt and create sentences on vacation topic on seeing the pictures and display my speaking skills through role play. Pour commencer. These are some of the vocabulary that you must have learnt when you were in year 3. Let me do a recap with you right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Janvier, février, mars, avril, mai, juin, juillet, août, septembre, octobre, novembre, décembre. You must be wondering why am I doing a recap of the numbers and the months. Of course, when we go about with the lesson, you will understand why we are doing this. Tu vas partir quand? When are you leaving? Or when are you going to leave? So for such a question, your answer would be the number and month. How would you say it? For example, if it is 5 juillet, you would say, Je vais partir le 5 juillet. I'm going to leave on the 5th of July. This is how you would say. You would use le, the definite article, and then you would use the number 5 and then the month juillet. Of course, at the beginning of the sentence, you would start with, Je vais partir. Because the question is, tu vas partir quand? When are you going to leave? So you would definitely say, je vais partir. I am going to leave. And then the number and the month. So there are a few more examples given to you. Let me read out to you. Je vais partir le 1er septembre. It is a little different. Instead of writing un, which is the number, you're writing premier. Premier means the first. The 1st of September. So we say, je vais partir le 1er septembre. Next one is, je vais partir le 21 octobre. Le 21 octobre. And then we have, je vais partir le 12 juin. Je vais partir le 12 juin. Then, je vais partir le 19 décembre. Le 19 décembre. Alright? This is for the number in the month, which means the date and the month. The next question is, tu vas rester combien de temps? Which means, how much time are you going to stay? It could be one month, or two weeks, or one weekend, five days, or one week. Alright, so how would you say it? You would start your sentence with, j'y vais rester. We've never had this why before. We've never learned this before. This is a kind of personal pronoun which we use when we say the word there. I am going to stay there. You would not write there after reste, but you would write it in between je and v. This is how you write in French, all right? So you say, je vais rester. Literally, if you translate, it becomes... I there going to stay. But then that's how we write in French. We write, Je vais rester. I'm going to stay there. A mois, a month. All right. Then, semaine will be week. Let me read the rest of the examples for you. Je vais rester deux semaines. Je vais rester un weekend. Je vais Rester cinq jours. J'y vais rester une semaine. And our next question is, 
Où vas-tu rester? Where are you going to stay? Je vais rester dans un camping. Je vais rester dans un hôtel. Je vais rester dans un gîte. We've never come, come across this word gîte. So I'm just explaining it to you. Gîte is a kind of a hostel or a lodge. All right. Je vais rester dans une caravane. This is a cognate. You must be able to understand what this means. Je vais rester dans une auberge de jeunesse, which means it's like a youth hostel. All right. Une auberge de jeunesse. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire? What are you going to do? Now you've come for a vacation holiday and what are you going to do in your holiday je vais faire du tourisme je vais me bronzer je vais nager à la plage je vais aller à la disco je vais visiter des grandes villes i am not going to explain these things to you because from the pictures you must be able to understand or we have also done these words in our previous lessons, you must be able to remember them. All right. Now let's try to do our task A. Answer the questions with your with your own ideas. Let's see if you're able to answer them. Please pause your video at this moment so that you can take a sheet of paper and start writing on it. Write the question and then answer to the question. The first question is: Tu vas partir quand? Then, tu vas rester combien de temps? Où vas-tu rester? Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire? These questions we've just done right now, but I'm asking your ideas about them. All right? You may pick sentences from what we've learned just now. All right? And add up your own ideas. After completing this, let's move on to the next one. Task B. Can you do a dialogue writing for a role play? Use the different questions that we learned in today's lesson. We will start with um, bonjour and then comment ça va and then a response to it. So it's only two people talking, two people in the conversation. But if you would like to add more than two people, it's up to you. All right. You may take up the challenge of adding more people together in this dialogue, in this role play. All right. So, and after wishing each other and asking how each other is, and then you could ask about the holidays. Who are you aller en vacances? Where are you going during holidays? The other person would say, je vais aller, and then the place. And then your uh, dialogue should continue with the other questions that we learned in this lesson, in today's lesson. All right. If you don't remember the questions, Go back to task A and see the questions um, over there. All right, that would help you. But if you've already learned it very well and you remember it, challenge yourself and try to write without seeing those questions. All right. And you could write how many ever responses like this. I've put few responses blank for you to continue with your own ideas. But then it's your choice. How many ever you wish to do, you could do so. You could write as many questions and as many responses as you wish. All right. And after completing this task B, you would upload both task A and task B together on Teams. All right. So that I can give my feedback. Okay. I hope you understood this lesson very well and you enjoyed this lesson, enjoyed writing the dialogues for role play. I believe you've learned so much about holidays and now if you go to France or you meet, meet a French native speaker, you would be able to talk to them about holidays. You, you would be able to ask them questions and reply to their questions. Okay, for now, I'm going to be asking you to 
like the video on our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you would be notified whenever the lesson is posted. All right? Or any other new topics that's posted. Au revoir.